ano nga ba na-derive ang mga formulas ng derivative ng mga functions in terms of x? Sa video na ito, i-explain ko yung four steps para makuha natin yung derivative ng function. Para ma-obtain natin ang derivative ng any function, ito yung four steps sinasabi ko. Una, replace x by x plus delta x and y by y plus delta y. So, given a continuous function na y equal to f of x, ang mangyayari, y will be replaced by y plus delta y. At sa right side naman, yung f of x magiging f of x plus delta x. Yun yung unang step. Number two, by subtraction, eliminate y. So, gamit yung dalawang equations kanina, y plus delta y equals f of x plus delta x is subtract natin subtract from it yung y equals f of x okay so y minus y 0 matitira is delta y sa left side ng equation equals yung sa kabilang side naman is f of x plus delta x minus f of x so ito na yung ngayon yung naobtain natin na formula for step 2. Okay? Now, for the next step, number 3. Divide through by delta x. Yung kaninang equation natin na delta y equals f of x plus delta x minus f of x. We divide natin both sides of the equation by delta x. Okay, ganun din sa right side ng equation. So, divided by delta x. Ito yung third step. Now, para sa fourth step, determine the limit as delta x approaches 0. So, apply na natin ngayon yung limit. Ready na for examples? Balikan lang natin yung fundamental definition ng derivative. Okay, given ang continuous function na y equals f of x, the derivative of y with respect to x, or similarly, f prime of x, is, of course, gamit yung four steps, is equal dun sa limit. Ano yung unang step? Replace x by x plus delta x. So, ganun din dito, f of x becomes f of x plus delta x Okay. And then, ano yung pangalawang step? By subtraction. So, we subtract the given function and divide by delta x in the third step. And the last step is, we apply the limit as delta x approaches 0. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng fundamental definition. And that we can derive yung formulas ng derivative ng various functions using this definition. Okay, so ngayon, gagamitin natin yung four steps. So, unang example natin. Find the derivative of y equals x squared minus 5x. So, yung first step natin is we replace x by x plus delta x and y by y plus delta y. So, kinopya ko muna yung given na function and then I will apply now the first step. Sa right side, naka-square yung x natin. So, it will become x plus delta x raised to 2 minus 5 times the quantity x plus delta x. So, before we proceed to the second step, expand natin yung right side. Diba? Magiging x squared plus twice the product lang ng first and second term. So, it will become 2x delta x plus the square of the last term, so delta x raised to 2, minus 5x, distribute natin yung sign ha, it will be minus 5 delta x. Okay? So yung second step is we eliminate y by subtracting the given function. So minus, ang given natin is y equals, 
x squared minus 5x. Ayan. So, subtract lang natin. So, y minus y, 0. So, yung matitira sa left side is delta y. Sa right side naman, so we combine like terms kung meron. So, merong x squared minus x squared. So, 0 na yon Cancel na. Second term naman, 2x plus delta x. I'm sorry. 2x delta x dapat. So, burahin natin. Okay. Sorry for that. 2x delta x, wala siyang kapareho, ba So, copy lang natin. Plus, delta x squared, wala ding kapareho. So, just copy. And then, minus 5x, minus 5x. So, cancel na rin siya. And then, the last term is, minus 5 delta x, since wala naman siyang kapareho. So, ito ngayon yung resulting natin na equation. The next step is, yung third step, divide both sides by delta x. Okay, ayan na. So, yung left side is, delta y over delta x equal to, yung first term, 2x delta x divided by delta x, makancel yung delta x, kaya naging 2x na lang siya. Second term natin, makancel yung delta x, yung matitira pang isang delta x, and then yung last term natin is minus 5 na lang, since makancel yung delta x. Now, yung fourth, fourth step natin is to apply the limit as delta x approaches 0. So, kung may makita ka man delta x dun sa resulting na ratio ng delta y over delta x, replace natin siya by 0. So, 2x plus 0 minus 5. 0 siya kasi nga delta x approaches 0. And then, we rewrite. The answer is 2x minus 5. So, ito na yung derivative ng given function natin na y equals x squared minus 5x. Kung may mga questions kayo, pakicomment na lang. Next, we proceed to example number 2. So, in this example, nagamit naman tayo ng ibang variables. So, kanina, we utilized variables y and x y being the dependent and x being the independent variable. So, dito sa pangalawang example natin, yung x magiging dependent variable natin, tsaka yung t is the independent variable. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is dx with respect to t. So, dx over dt. So, ang mangyayari dun, yung x will be replaced by x plus delta x at yung t will be t plus delta t. Yun yung first step natin. Okay? So, first, we will write the given function na x equals 1 over t. So, gamit yung four steps, first is replace x by x plus delta x and t by t plus delta t. Now, yung next step natin is we subtract para ma-eliminate natin yung dependent variable. In this case, x yung dependent variable natin. So, minus the given function na x equals 1 over t. Okay, we're combining like terms or subtract. Yan. So, x minus x, 0. So, yung matitira sa left side is delta x. Sa right side naman, since walang similar terms, we just copy. So, 1 over t plus delta t minus 1 over t. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa third step, we fix first yung nasa right side ng equation natin. So, we combine the two fractions. We put them into one fraction. Okay, and then sa numerator, meron dong similar terms, ba? So, t minus t, makancel na siya. And then, distribute yung negative sign. Kaya, naging negative delta t yung numerator mo. Divided by, just copy the denominator na t times t plus delta t. And now, we can proceed to the third step. And that is by dividing both sides by delta t. Okay? So, the result would be negative delta, delta x. Sorry. 
over delta t is equal to negative delta t over delta t. Cancel na siya. So, negative 1. And then, it will become t times t plus delta t. So, this is the resulting equation. The fourth step is, of course, we apply the limit as delta t approaches 0. So, yung derivative natin, yung symbol natin will be dx over dt. Now, we apply the limit as delta t approaches 0. So, kung may makita ka mga delta t doon sa right side ng equation, papalitan natin ng 0 yan. So, it will become negative 1 over t times t plus 0. Okay. And now, we rewrite the resulting equation, so dx over dt, equal to negative 1 divided by t squared. Well, sa t times t. So, that's the final answer. Kung meron kayong mga tanong, just comment below. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to this channel. This is Teacher Phil.